You hear the term on the spectrum a lot more than you have in years past. That's because a rising number of younger children have now been diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder here in our state. It's according to a new study from UAMS and the CDC. THV 11's Jay Jackson shows us how Arkansas compares with the rest of the country and services available to help families. When we first started our journey with autism, my oldest son's on the spectrum. It was learning lesson after learning lesson. And honestly, like he's been, um, it's been several years now and it's still, I feel, feel like we still learn things every day. A new report from UAMS shows that one in 44 eight-year-old Arkansans have autism spectrum disorder. The numbers are a part of national data released by the CDC, with our state falling in line with the national average. Lauren Ramsey with the Arkansas Autism Foundation says those numbers don't surprise her. Each year they have been getting, like the number, the prevalence has been getting larger. Maya Lopez is a researcher for the Arkansas Autism and Developmental Disabilities Monitoring Program at UAMS. Our purpose is to determine how common is autism, you know, in in the population. Mm -hmm. And how we do this by looking at um, healthcare records and educational records. Out in the field, their research study started in 2018 and also included four-year-old kids. Across the network, there's no differences between racial differences, with, uh, ra there's no racial differences between kids identified among white, Hispanic, black, of intellectual disability, but in our state, there's still a discrepancy. Per 1,000 children, 14.9% of Hispanic children are diagnosed with autism, compared to the 19.2 of black children and 23.8 of white children. Lopez says it's important for parents to get diagnosed early on. And if they see that there's a difference, what I would suggest is they discuss this with their um, child care providers. And know that there's resources, like the Arkansas Autism Foundation, which help connect families who can relate. Because sometimes, you know, you just feel like you're alone in this, and that's why we want to make sure that we, as the foundation, um, try to support the families and the parents parents and caregivers. Um. In Little Rock, Jay Jackson, THV 11 News. Jay, thank you. You asked, UAMS researchers say they plan on focusing now on 16-year-olds with autism in their next study.